Huh. Day two, everybody. We didn't get jack crap on the video for the first half of this, like y'all just seen. <sighs> it was a good adventure, though. They ain't cut them cornfields, so we're just doing what we can. Good Lord, it's gonna be dark for y'all. Anyways, so uh round two round two hopefully uh we're gonna get off in some places with some creeks we got for shooting lanes and hopefully we have some better luck but anyhow i ain't taking a bow today there ain't but two of us so you know we'll see what happens either way back with y'all shortly Your nail's gonna need some attention. Come on, hooker. Good girl, come here. You got good short nails too. Well, not on that back leg you don't. Tripper, we we'll feed you, we raise you, we we'll send you to school. Come on, girl, and you're stu stupid. Come here, girl. How in the world you done that? I don't know. There you go, girl. Okay. You too, Abby. You too. Hey, right, Center, get in here, get in here, get in here, get in here. Center, get in there, get in there, get in there, get in there. Come on. <sighs> this is nice. <sighs> Be nice seeing old squirrel, too. I better hurry up, they done on the rabbit, son of a gun. He <laughs> burn him up. Y'all, you can't describe, you can't explain this to nobody, I'm telling you. The ground's wet, they're in a spot chock full of rabbits. And they just fixing to burn one up, so I thought there is to it. Man, it's gonna be a good day. I don't care if we even kill nothing, we're just gonna... They done burn him in here if he don't swim. Dang it, hope he don't swim. He's a good chance of it. <clears throat> they like to swim on that other end down yonder, dadgummit. Are they taking him out well, good. Now it's time to put some pressure on him. 
They didn't brought him or took him around. Oh, oh, oh. Woo! Hey, babies. <laughs> here he is, good dogs. Smoke, yeah. Here he is, here he is, good babies. Good babies. Woo! Good babies. <laughs> not a bad one. He's the average, no ankle slapping one, but not a bad rabbit. I thought he was a lot smaller than that. Man, that was. That was cool. They put they put so much pressure on him. Heck, he wasn't 40 yards ahead of him. Y'all seen just he started making real small circles there at the end, and he took out. I, th I thought he was going to be a small rabbit, but heck, he wasn't. That is a dead gum rabbit, everybody. Look at that dang thing. What'd we get us anyhow? That's a buck. Well, heck yeah. <laughs> Let's go throw him in the kayak and try again. That's a what now? Like a little phone. <laughs> uh, he ain't a bass. I'll tell you what, though. Hands been a little cold. Them old organs feel good. <sighs> oh, they done wonderful. I was sitting there talking to the camera like, yeah, Dad's going to be a wonderful. Holy crap, you know. What I'm just <laughs> Man, that was a good race right there. How many, how many times they circle him? They made like two or three big circles. And then right here at the end, they made like two or three little small ones. Then boom. You can't beat that. So all them people's like, you know, don't shoot them on the jump. Like, look, for every rabbit I shoot on the jump, there's another rabbit they run six circles, okay? I don't want to hear it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah. People don't think a rabbit will run that far, but that gum, they'll... Okay. Yeah. Or if they got a long cattail patch. <laughs> I'm going to put him in the kayak right kit and get all washed up. Thank you, old rabbit. Thank you for a good race. I'll be down look at that muscle. Hope y'all can see it. Is that muscle still twitching? <laughs> He's dead, but muscles can be weird sometimes. Stay tuned, everybody. <laughs> okay, change of plans. Dogs are moving a different direction, so we're packing up. And we're gonna move on a little bit. <clears throat> Oh, 
Oh, I hope he got him. I hope he got him. <laughs> Heck yeah. Is him Huh? Yeah, them ages are killer, man. They are absolute, absolute killer. Same thing for deer hunting. If you had to kill one, get on a little point right yonder, you know. Them's two below us like here. Like these big ones right here? Yeah, huh? they go up and ain't much in the top. It's a little bit. Yeah. It's square, but it's huh. They're on a little old berry. Well, I have to remember that. Well, I did not know that. When's them little berries fall, anyhow? Uh, this time of year, see them laying there? Probably a little before now. Well, I'll be dying. Probably before now, but a lot of ducks stuff they eat it. Fox squirrels eat them. Well, they smell kind of sweet. How do they taste? I don't know. I ain't never tried one. <laughs> you want to try one? <laughs> well, I'll be dying. They, they even purple on the inside a little bit. It's supposed to make the best honey. Huh? That's why mine's the golden every year. You think so? Because there's a tupelo swamp behind the house. There's not that much clover there at the house. It's like you took a kiwi and uh, mixed it with something else. Is that the same one they're running or what? Huh? Well, do they run that one plumb to you? Well, dang. They didn't want to hang around for guts, did they? No, they right back off. Well, man, they didn't want to hang around for guts on that one. They're like, fuck you, man, it's good weather. We got to get with it. It's like they're smelling good. <laughs> <laughs> well, you want me to go ahead and gut that in fair? You throw it here and keep it from toting it around. <laughs> and see him dog's got louder. He didn't hang around for conversation. <laughs> It is, it is hard to beat this. It's just the level of fun you have and just the camaraderie and you know, just, it's not a stressful hunt. You just take it easy if you got trained dogs. Now the dogs are stressed. You gotta feed them year round, all that stuff and train them, have pups, breed correctly. But man, that man, just, this, this is awesome. I'm sitting here getting drizzled on and having a ball. Ah. Uh, People just, they've got deer crazy these days. They forgot. They forgot what good hunting and good camaraderie was all about. Back in the 60s before deer was brought around, rabbit hunting was the number one sport. And here in Alabama anyways, there's more rabbit hunters than anything else. And I guess it's a crying shame it ain't that way now. <laughs> anyways, I'm just, I don't know, I'm just, I'm just having a nostalgic moment. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get off here and let y'all get, We'll catch y'all later. We'll catch y'all later. Just hang in. Hang in there. There's going to be probably more rabbits to come. Probably. Son of a gun, I think he crossed. I think he crossed. He crossed. Son of a gun. Okay, it's that gum rabbit. They're having a hard, hard time with him right now. He done crossed, he got over in that sapling thicket, and y'all can see that sapling thicket is flooded. But anyways, there's two easy spots to cross. The spot he already crossed, and we got, got my buddy down yonder. So if he comes back that way, he'll head him off. And I'm sitting right here, there's a beaver dam right here. There's a beaver dam right here. And there's a beaver dam over yonder. So if he ain't already run this way and got past the dogs, I'm gonna be sitting right here and maybe he will come through here. But I ain't the only one who had that idea. You see where somebody in the past ne had some boards nailed to it. And I guarantee you they was probably going up there uh, had them a deer stand. But these beaver dams, rabbits like to cross them all game, likes to cross them at walks. Anyways, they're having trouble with this rabbit. Either way, what I'm getting at is it's flooded out that way. There's just one point that comes out and this point has got two or three little ways to cross and they're all within shooting range. 
So this is a really good spot. And y'all can see, hopefully y'all can see the kayak just right here with that white rabbit belly on him. So, only thing we can do in this situation is just wait. We can't make them run him no faster. And we can't help them figure him out, so. Let's just take it easy and see what happens. All right, they picked him back up and they're pushing him again. But as long as they lost him, they lost him probably four minutes. A rabbit can cover a lot of distance in four minutes. But, but most time they don't, the most they just go off a hundred yards, just lay down somewhere. But still, that rabbit more than likely is gonna be a good distance ahead of these dogs. So <clears throat> for those y'all don't rabbit hunt, this, this right now is not the time to be goofing off and slinging your hand like I'm doing. Just goofing off, wavering. You need to sit real still and pay attention. These old swamp rabbits are real sneaky. Notice the rabbit I shot earlier. The dog was in front of me and I was waiting for the rabbit to come out, but that rabbit already made a circle and he come behind me. I had to turn around all the way around to shoot him. So, like right now, them dogs are running and there's a good chance this rabbit, if he did come this way, he's already went across this beaver dam and I'm just pissing in the wind. But, in case he hadn't, he may just come bees, I mean creeping, real creepy up through here. So, I guess that's your rabbit hunting tip of the day, especially swamp rabbit hunting. You need to, you need to treat it almost like deer hunting. You need to sit real still and pay real close attention because those dang things are sneaky, I'm telling you. But anyways, they're still having trouble with him. They ain't, He's pulling some tricks out there and all that flooded stuff. But they ain't giving up on him, so let's hopefully we get a hold of him. Stay tuned. He is pulling a lot of tricks. I'm not saying he's a big rabbit, but he's a smart rabbit. I mean, it's, this is... I mean, he's throwing in for a loop. He just, he's pulled so many tricks. He's made them go into so many checks. And they usually don't go into checks that long. Like I said, he might not be trophy size, but he is definitely trophy intelligence, for sure. <clears throat> okay, so Rabbit, he's run back and forth over there several, several times. You know, this is an awesome spot. If he ever does come by here, he's screwed, but he ain't going to come here. So, we're just going to I'm going to wait, wait till them dogs are pushing him again, make sure they're pushing him the other way. And I'm going to slip on up there. This um, this little creek right here, it comes up and it, and it goes this way and it creates a point right over there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get at the edge of that point to where I can see down it for a shooting lane in case he swims. And if he comes this way, I mean I've still got I've still got plenty of good room to shoot him here, but it'll also let me see further up in them saplings, and that's what we're trying to achieve right now. Okay, let's put a little pressure on him. Yeah, I'll look what they've done to this old rabbit here. <laughs> that circle, that's 140 yards from one side to the other. And inside that circle, y'all see just how much they've zigged him and zagged him and run him all around. They have run the piss out of this rabbit, just back and forth, circle looping, doing all kind of stuff. He don't want to come out of there. But I am 40 yards from the outside of his circle, according to this GPS. So that means he didn't want to come out of them browers because them browers are about 40 yards away. Yeah, and I don't blame him. I, I wouldn't want to come out of that stuff neither, but I'm gonna let them I'm gonna let them get him up and start moving him again. And when they do and he's going away, I'm gonna put more pressure on him. A lot of people be tempted just to walk up there right now, that's the bad move. Let the dogs put pressure on him, let that rabbit get preoccupied going the other way, and then you slip up there. It's uh, it ain't as easy as some people think it is, rabbit hunting. <laughs> but anyway, we're gonna wait until they get him going again, we're gonna put more pressure. Well, how's that for a race? Oh. Hey, smoke good, smoke, come on. Woo. Come on, help, 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 help. Come on, hey, hooker, come on, girl. Hey, girl. Come on, good smoke. Good smoke. Good baby. Oh, Abby just went across, so Belle may go with her. 
Come on, dogs. Good sooner. Good sooner. Good sooner. Come on. Good patch. Good patch. Come on, Ann. Good girl. Come on, Ann. Hey, Tripper. Come on, girl. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Let me go over there. Let me see if I can tease them just a little bit. Yeah, I don't. I don't get it neither. It's I don't. <laughs> I claim to have a dog brain, but there's plenty of things I don't understand about them. Hey, dog, come here. Oh, little chump. I tell y'all what I think. I think this is the same rabbit they lost earlier. I think he crossed back over this slough without him knowing it. Because he's running the same dang way. He's running a little bit, screwing him over, running a little bit, screwing him over, running a little bit, screwing him over. I think it's the same dang rabbit. They just we just got him back over and just they just happened to jump on him again. How's that for live action, everybody? Maybe it's the same one. I don't know yet. <laughs> so I'm thinking it was the same rabbit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, y'all are welcome for that, by the way. I, I, can't, I can't make that up. I can't, I can't make that up. That's three rabbits. I rolled him good now. Anyways. I guess we'll put y'all back on top of my head and we'll go from there. Oh man, that's another good sized rabbit. My goodness, that rabbit's that gum heavy. Holy crap. That's a doe. It's a doe. Man, what a heavy day gum rabbit. Here he is, here he is, here he is. Ho, ho, ho. He, 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 he. Woo! Here he is, here he is. Y'all, that was the same rabbit. Holy crap. That thing was a full circle ahead of him now. That is one smart, or was one smart rabbit. Holy crap. I ain't believing it. That is, that's a trophy, people, trophy. <laughs> hey, old dog. Hey, old boy. We'll get your guts here in a second. You earned them. We'll get them to you, old boy. We'll get them to you. We gotta show it off a bit first. Holy crap. I got a theory. What's that? Well, I got a few theories, I actually. Feel that dang thing. It's heavy, ain't That's it? heavy as I'll get out. Well, that's not going on YouTube, no. <laughs> you got that yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, well, trust, trust me, that ain't going on YouTube, you know what I mean? <laughs> but see, you catch your best moments when you don't know what's on, you know what I'm saying?
Y'all, I'm posing today. <laughs> I am posing today. And dang it, I just saw the thing. There he is, right there, dead gum, right in front of me. And thanks, no way to blend in. Oh. A little buck rabbit. Oh, thank you, old rabbit. Appreciate you. I know you didn't appreciate that five shot, but that's okay. You ain't gotta worry about it no more. <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. I don't know what kind of trick he pulled if that's the same rabbit. But they can be way to them dogs. If them dogs ain't moving no closer. Dogs probably hunting some yards over there. I sitting here minding my own business, had my had my elbows propped up on the back of the gun and everything like this. And I looked up and bam, the rabbit just hopped out in the trail and stopped. And I was like, oh. <laughs> and I slowly reached, I mean slowly reached up and turned that camera on. And he's sitting there stopping, licking his feet, cleaning himself off. And rabbits would do that to help kill scent. And that might be why they can't smell him good right now. But I think there's more to it than that anyhow. So then I slowly started raising my gun up, and when I done that, that gun, he took off then when he did, I rolled him. Like, here's a trail. I hope y'all can see that right here, like a deer trail. He stopped right there. And when I moved the gun up, he ran over here, and boom, I rolled him over in them thick brawers right there. So y'all, we're doing good. We got four rabbits so far, and every one of them we've killed with one shot. We are poisoned today, I'm telling you, and they've all been swamp rabbits. So we're doing awesome. I mean, we got out here at 8 o'clock. It's 10.56 right now. In three hours, we've got four swamp rabbits. It ain't but two of us. And they probably spent an hour running that one rabbit on the other side. So, y'all, yeah, we're, we're doing great. But I still don't know if this is the same rabbit. I still don't know what he done right now. Either way, stay tuned. Stay tuned. We're having a good day today. There he goes, there he goes. <laughs> Either way, I got like 2% battery left. So, sorry everybody, I'm just gonna cut it off. I'll, I'll, I'll get back with y'all when the hunt's over. I just, I ain't got enough right now to really make it worth it. So, either way, y'all have a nice day. Until I get back to the house. Stay on the tailgate. It's story time. Now. Uh, Y'all seen how day one went? We walked our butts off, didn't get nothing. Had to cut the next day. So second day, or the second hunt day, day three. Uh, oh, 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 what a good day. Unfortunately, old buddy didn't get to go. He had to winterize some stuff, he's saying. Whatever that means. But as you can see, we had some fun. And as you can also see, I got another squirrel here. So let me just finish out what how the rest of the hunt went. Um, I got in the kayak and went on around the dogs, jumped a dog on a far creek bank. So I figured I'd get in the slough and go around and hopefully they'd run him back to that creek bank. They kind of did, but either way, when I got over there, there was a real good beaver dam going across the slough. So I got over there and I just waited. And once again, them beaver dams are good areas for animals to cross at. And I got over there and I was waiting, as y'all seen. And uh, I, cut, I t told y'all goodbye, whatever. Here we are now. About 20, 30 seconds after I cut the camera off, I ended up killing this squirrel. He was behind me and he crossed the creek. And I, when he crossed over, I rolled him out of one tree over there. Killed him one shot. Cats. Killed him one shot, 
and then uh, a little while after that, here come the dogs running up there kind of towards me. And it was, it was funny because when they come up, they weren't running the squirrels, but no joke, there's three squirrels come out of the end all at once and just jumped across the beaver dam. And unfortunately, I was sitting there with my kayak on the beaver dam because the water's pushing me towards it. And you can't put it straight towards it like this. It's gonna push your kayak one way or the other. You gotta turn your kayak sideways, let the water push up to it. So I was sitting there doing that and I was ready to shoot down the beaver dam. And uh, unfortunately, well, we didn't come down the beaver dam. We come off a, a log to my right. And I was sitting there ready for a rabbit or something to get on that dam and come across. Well, one squirrel would jump across, just run across like, dang, what's the chances of that? A little bit later, come another one like, you think I'd have had enough sense to turn because I had three squirrels run past me. But either way, it is what it is. And you can't turn a whole lot when you're sitting down in the kayak. But either way, had a ball, as you can see, had done a lot of killing. And uh, now I got a lot of cleaning to do. But either way, hopefully y'all enjoyed that. And this today was a super awesome hunt. I mean, I mean, daggum, every animal we shot at, we shot at one time and killed it. She killed every animal we was able to see, and every animal besides the squirrel here that I killed, I got on camera. So, super, super successful day. We're about, we were batting a thousand today. But anyways, hopefully y'all enjoyed that. See y'all in the next video. Also, I got, I ain't forgot about the hog hunt. I gotta do a part two of that. I'm, I'm waiting, What's, what I'm holding off on is I'm waiting on a day we're not hunting and we're not busy and rushed. Me and my buddy can get together. Me, me and him can both give a closing to that, get both of our opinions on it. So stay tuned for part two of that hog hunt. Y'all have a nice day.